Pixar is such a cool place to go to and such like a creative wonderland that it's almost like in my head I'm thinking, oh, I hope they need like a different line just so I can go back up there. <laughs> I want you to meet Forky. Uh, hi. Hello. Hi. Hi. Ah. <gasps> you guys have been working on this for years now. What part are you most excited for audiences to finally see? I've heard a lot of people and say this, and I've, we had the same question, which is like, well, why Toy Story 4? I thought, this, I thought 3 was the end. And at first, there's a lot of pressure with that because we felt the same thing. But um, I think that people are, I'm excited for people just to see the movie and see, kind of go, why are they making this? Because I think that they'll be surprised by that. Yeah, we put a lot of love, a lot of time, a lot of effort into just making this something that would be special for people that love these characters. Um, and uh, we, we, think we, we think we've got something with this one. A lot of people are already in love with Forky. Oh, that's so nice to hear. Myself included. What was Pixar's original pitch to you for this character? They had taken uh, clips of when I did Arrested Development or Veep and they had attached it to an animated Spork. And they talked about him just having kind of a nervous energy. Perfect. <laughs> and kind of, kind of goable to a fault. Perfect. Um, and so, and just this very kind of innocent, childlike uh, wonder, you know, to the world and kind of a blank slate. And I loved it. Just, he not ashamed at all to constantly ask questions. You know, I love that. What character were you most excited to have another part of their story be told? I kind of too. I think Woody and Bo Peep, I think they're, Bringing her back around and kind of reinventing her and kind of re reintroducing her to the world was something that was really fun and really exciting. This group within the crew formed and called themselves Team Bo, and, and their whole thing, they were a little bit of a brain trust to all of us working on it to make sure that she was as interesting as she deserved to be. I was so overwhelmed at the whole group of them and how much thought that they had given to her, they did my whole backstory. They did, they did the work that I usually do for my characters. I mean, they really got into it. They, well, it was their one job. <laughs> Literally, <laughs> the you, one you know what I mean. It yeah. was their job to for think years. about every aspect of her. It's like, wow, okay, I'm in good hands. What uh, can families and kids take away from Toy Story Four? Well, I think seeing these characters go through these transi transitions or struggling with it, it's it. I think in a way it kind of unites everyone and kind of she's like, it, we all deal with it. It's something that's kind of universal. The other element of this is that I think uh, just empathy for other people, just seeing how you can look at somebody and not quite know, you can assume their story and not know it yet, but that that's not always the correct thing. So um, that's definitely, definitely something Woody goes through.